What's up guys, welcome to the FOMO Factory. Quick video today, the market isn't really doing a lot, but there is something really important going on, which I made a video about a couple of days ago as well. And that's that altcoins are still getting wrecked. So let's take a look at that, because I want us to be the smartest and the richest community in crypto by the next bull run, but then we don't have to mess it up right now. So let's take a look at it. Um, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, Welcome, happy to have you here. Please like the video, push it into YouTube's algorithm a little bit. And this is the beautiful altcoin chart, right? This is the total three. So this is everything in crypto except Bitcoin and Ethereum. And um, it's quite funny. I was thinking about it that a lot of people are always discussing like, are we in a bull market? Are we in a bear market? And the, the question depends per asset, I think. Because if you ask about Bitcoin, are we in a bear market? Well, no, I don't think that Bitcoin is in a bear market anymore. If you look at this, uh, the main thing that was holding us down uh, and, and that made sure that we were in a bear market was, well, the bear market resistance band, AKA the bull market support band, which was driving us down this red and this green line. We clearly broke above it, right? Clearly, since, uh, since January, basically. We had a retest on that line as well. Um, so that, that's really the bull market support bent again. It's supporting us in a bull market. Now I'm not saying that Bitcoin is in a bull market, but, uh, the bear market is all, uh, over. Also, if you look at this diagonal line, we broke out a long time ago, but if you ask um, are altcoins in a bull market? Then the answer is simply, well, if you ask are altcoins in a bear market, then my answer would be, yes, it's still an altcoin bear market. And that's simply because of this diagonal line, which was holding us down, right? If you look at the altcoin market, it's still there. Every time I make a video, I will review this and look at this. And if you put it on the daily, we right got back in it and it's resistance again right and how long can you keep knocking on resistance door until you break down i think it's a matter of time it's quite important to know that this line is the 200 i think yeah 200 weighted moving average is holding it as support right now so the question is what is more resistance or what what is a bigger and stronger level the support of the 200 weighted moving average or the resistance of the bull market support band to 50 the 100 weighted moving average weighted moving average and this legacy line i think it's a matter of time before we break down again um so altcoins are uh, still in, in in deep shit if you ask me now there are always exceptions some altcoins are doing very well if we look at um the lysium still holding up pretty decent uh it's very nice to see chain gpt uh perfect i mean yeah, this, this is beautiful. Came out, uh, went completely to the moon. People took their profits and it had a second lag. Um, and we took the Fibonacci tool here. And uh, the golden zone is always between the, zero po uh, yeah, the 0 0.618 and the 0 0.5. Well, we got down, we entered the golden zone. And since we got there, we went back up again. So beautiful. Um, there will be major resistance at uh, 28 cents. We could come down to 20 cents. And if we ever go get back between 18 and a half, 16 and a half, I think it's a beautiful entry. Um, unless the market really, really, really takes a hit, we can always break down of that below as well. But you know, these are levels and no securities of anything. Overall, altcoins are doing the slow bleedies again. If you look at Gala, for example, people feel like, yeah, altcoins holding up pretty well. I don't know, man. Since April um, 18, right? So three weeks, Gala has been going down, 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 down. It's only going down, basically, right? Um, even since way before that, though. But you'll see that we are just making lower lows and lower highs on that chart. And a lot of charts look like that. There are a lot of charts, of course, that look different. But even Nakamoto Games, if we look at just a shorter time frame of like four hours, right? You'll see that it's lately just been going down, 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 down. And I'm very careful at the moment because yeah this is slow and blah and blah but overall i think that there will be a real big hit uh, that's about to take place and i want you to be prepared i am prepared okay um i want you to be prepared as well even if you do not believe me um, because what if what if i'm right right then 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 what 
you're left with only crypto that's worth a lot less and no money and then how are you going to change your life for the better <laughs> right that's hard so um i would say join our telegram group in the thing right there uh, and in the description down below uh, talk to us and um also if you want to join the private group you can just go to KuCoin or Bybit in the description, trade $100 right there, you get access to a private call group. But for now, the charts are like, it's all a little down today. And what stands out to me again, is that Bitcoin, you know, still now sitting at $28,500. If we look at the hourly chart, you'll see that nothing really has changed the last couple of hours, right? We were sitting at 29, 30, and we finally came back down a couple of days ago, right? And um, yeah, that, that, that's too bad because now we are still ranging right here. So we could come down again, of course, towards that $28,000, but overall Bitcoin is down, right? If we look at the Bitcoin dominance, it's not doing that bad, right? So it means the dominance is holding up pretty insane while Bitcoin is going down, right? So again, that means that altcoins are going down even harder. Look at this. So this is the Bitcoin price and this is the Bitcoin dominance, right? Bitcoin is sitting at the same point now as where it was, um, and let me see, April 19. But the difference is that April 19, the dominance was sitting at 47 and a half. Now it's sitting at 48 and a half. So that's still going on. Bitcoin is not doing anything, but the dominance is going up, right? So that means, of course, that less money is getting into altcoins. Altcoins are slowly getting wrecked. And you might feel like yeah, it's not that interesting. It's 1%. Yeah. The thing is, though, that that's really hard sometimes because 1% plus 1% plus 1%, eventually it adds up. Um, so, yeah, again, I'm cautious, man. I'm cautious. Um, let me, let me, let me, let me take a look right here. I am posting a lot of interesting videos this week. I'm doing, uh, by the way, uh, where I'm comparing lunch pads, uh, to each other. So that should be really interesting because I still think that's the best play. But overall, I should be really careful with altcoins if I were you. Cardano as well. If you look at Cardano and it's Bitcoin pair, for example, since the last, well, two weeks, probably it went down in just two weeks, right? went down 11%, uh, but it's all the time 1% plus 1% plus 1%. Overall, you lost another 11%, right? From a point where it was already sitting very low. I'm not even gonna tell you how much you lost in total, but just, just this move, 11%, right? And that's the thing when they bleed against Bitcoin, because if you look at Cardano dollar and you take it from the bottom, how far are we from the bottom? We are now 60% from the bottom. And you might feel like, whoa, 60% from the bottom already. But if you look at Cardano Bitcoin and you look at how far we are from the bottom right now, it's 12 and a half percent, right? So if you look at altcoins on the Bitcoin pair, they or are making lower lows or they are really getting close to that. If you look at AVAX Bitcoin making lower lows as we speak, if you look at Arweave uh, Bitcoin, what the fuck is that? making lower lows as we speak a lot of projects making lower lows as we speak moonbeam a lot of people like moonbeam i don't know why but you know making lower lows as we speak so altcoins are just getting wrecked and if you then say like yeah but these are just not good altcoins you should buy this one then let's take a look at the average right where every altcoin is included and then we come down to the total three which is still in this downward trend right which is still in the bear market and like I said we cannot stay keep knocking on resistance right it, at a certain point we will break it but what if we come down which seems more likely to me then we are getting pretty screwed um so that's the market today it's not really that interesting right now to be honest it's not um but it's just another death by a thousand cuts um and i think eventually we will see a very big drop down which will cause some kind of a domino effect where people feel like shit um it's uh 
it's 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 really bad, right? And 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 then we will see the real capitulation, uh, in my opinion. So I want to leave it here, basically. I just want to leave it here. That's it for now. If you haven't joined our Telegram, join the Telegram. It would be very nice. You could talk to everybody. You could talk to me. We could talk to each other. Help each other out right there. Um, happy to have you right there. If you have any questions about altcoins you want me to check out or some specific content you would like me to put out, leave a comment down below. Tomorrow is way more interesting when it comes to the content. Today I just wanted to update you on the market, what was going on, nothing. All right, bye. <laughs>